Uh, hi, Larry Coyne, McCarthy Improvement Company. And what are we do, what are we going to be working on now? Uh, as you say, we're starting within the next seven to fourteen days. Yes, yeah, we're going to be breaking ground. It's a Thirty Eighth Street John Deere Road uh, reconfiguration. Uh, the first thing we're going to be doing is uh, putting in the bridge that will be going over the top of John Deere Road. Uh, the bridge will be connecting with um, Coal Town Road and 40, 41st Avenue, which is directly in front of Lowe's, uh, that splits Lowe's and Applebee's. There will be a connector that continues to the west of that intersection, crosses over John Deere Road and ties back in with Coal Town Road. And how long is this going to take? Okay, it's a two-year project. Mm -hmm. uh, Three-fourths of the project will be done in 2014. And we're, when you say breaking ground, you're going to move snow? Yeah, we're going to start moving snow. The first thing we're going to do is in the center of John Deere Road, between the, the six lanes, I believe it's six lanes right there, we're going to start putting the bridge pillars in. That'll be the first thing, break ground for that. And while we're also doing that, we'll be moving dirt on each side of John Deere Road, getting ready for the bridge approaches for that. Now, how's this going to affect traffic coming through at this time, all the construction is going? There shouldn't be anything. It should not slow them down at all. Everything should be off the roadway. There will be some barrier walls set up on the inside mm -hmm. to block the workers to, to keep them safe. However, it shouldn't be impeding in the flow at all, other than just the motoring public wanting to see what's going on. Yep. Now... The goal of this is to get traffic really moving along John Deere Road. That's correct. That's the main idea is to keep, when you come off I-74 and you're going eastbound, is to keep the traffic flowing. Uh, also, going westbound. Yeah. I think we've all been down there and we found out what it's like at that traffic light. Yeah. That light will be eliminated. There will be a right-hand turn only at that intersection and traffic will be able to flow.